the CBC. I think the first thing, there, there are a couple of really important things that can be done. One is um, Canada has to invest in the CBC and they have to see it as a treasure. Um, they're also, the, the amazing thing about the CBC is with its long history and the amount of content that it has, uh, it, can, it, it can even be a money maker in many ways. Uh, if, if things are repackaged from all the content that's owned by CBC, put out there, sold in different markets, even into the U.S., um, I, I just think that the negativity that's coming from one side of the aisle politically in Canada is what the, the core problem is for CBC. And if you can get past that mindset and think of it as a real jewel that has all this content and all this ability, cultural and otherwise, um, it, it really shouldn't be a problem. Well, I, I work part time. I'm the right now on the weekend news reader with CBC for radio, and uh, I was out with my kids, and I got a call from my boss, and I don't think I understood the gravity of the situation when I got the phone call. I said, "Oh, I'll be fine. I have 13 years seniority." Uh, in the end, it's a little trickier than that when you're a part time employee at CBC. Your seniority comes second. Your part-time classification comes first, so I'm in a situation where I can only move into a part-time position, as opposed to wanting to be a reporter editor with all my seniority. Part of the thing you do is you reinvest in local programming. Uh, local local media matters, and, and, and when the CBC is present in markets, it, it raises the standard both of journalism but also of cultural awareness on the local scene. You can see that with Metro Morning and the amazing results they have. The second thing I think you have to do is, is that you have to invest in Canadian in programming through the CBC, not just through private sector producers, but also through the CBC, because when the CBC sets the highest standard, the others follow. And then the third thing I think you need to do, and this is a radical concept, but I think the CBC Radio News should be given away free to every radio station in the country. You see newsrooms shrinking across the country, and news shrinking across the country, and, 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 and sort of 30 second format radio coming in, without a lot of depth, and a lot of, a lot of uh, resources plowed into it. The CBC Radio was the newscast of every single radio station in the country, what you would find is the other media companies relying on the CBC for content, and the minute they start relying on it for content, they're going to stop advocating for its destruction. And one of the biggest problems facing the CBC is the private broadcasters who say, why am I paying taxes to compete? Instead of paying taxes to compete, they'd be paying taxes to get service, and that service, I think, would cement and, 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 and lock in the CBC across the country, in particular in small local markets, where, where the only place you get the news would be from the CBC and become invaluable to taxpayers, residents, citizens, and the private sector. And when you make it invaluable to everybody in every definition, it does stop disappearing from the, from the budgets of the federal government. Personally? Yeah. Well, at the moment, I think I'm okay. But, I mean, can you... I, it's, at, at the moment, I think I'm okay, but I, I just think that there's going to be more cuts coming. Sometimes. <laughs> you know, I'd like to be able to say that the solution is to just give the CBC more money. That's not the solution, because the CBC has had more money in the past, and it's also had problems. Um, there's a certain balance that has to be struck between what's efficient and at the point we're at now, I believe, which is cutting things to the point where we're starting to lose health. And I think there has to be, obviously, stable and secure funding, something that can be planned upon. I also think that there has to be some very strong and decisive planning by management about what it is the CBC is going to become. Are we a news service? Are we an entertainment service? Are we a sports service? Can we continue to be all things to all people in the way that we have been in the past? I think some tough decisions are going to have to be made about where all of our resources are going to go. We can't continue to spread ourselves as thinly as we are now 
with the resources that we have. So either more resources or decide what it is we're going to focus on. You pay for it through taxes. It's not a lot of money. I mean, we buy newspapers, we, we buy internet, and we, and we spend pennies a day. The CBC is, is, is a few nickels and dimes plus that, but it's worth it. It's worth it because it's part of the way we talk to each other as Canadians. The editors that are left behind, all of that work is now going to be piled onto the overloaded plates of so many people who for the past several years have been asked to do more with less, and now more again.